Well, if you like, I could take you on a, a very quick walk through the lab, if that's interesting for your audience. Um, so we could do that now, if you like. I mean, I, I guess um, yeah. people hear a lot about um, where money is invested and, and science going on. I think it's good that people can see how it actually works. So I'd be very interested. Let's go. Yeah, okay. We'll be breaking new ground here. I mean, I've done many lab tours uh, in the past, but never by Zoom meeting. So just bear with me a bit <laughs> and we'll go on a bit of a walk. Um, so just to orientate you a little bit, so I'm located uh, at the Flory Institute, which is in Parkville in Melbourne. Uh, and that houses um, quite a large number of laboratories actually. Yeah. Um, so we'll just walk through the open plan area uh, where a lot of the uh, students are housed. So we can see some working in the background there. There's Kevin, he's very interested in uh, stroke research actually. And we'll walk through to the labs. It's a, a regulated area where a lot of the science and the research happens. So if I can just show you down there, you'll get, a, I guess, a bit of a feel for scale and, and size. So this is a large area that, that hosts a number of laboratories working on a, a diverse range of... Um, of uh, challenges in medical research. So we have labs working on motor and Parkinson's disease where we work, and that's our laboratory there. And I'm just very quickly gonna take you into the uh, stem cell culture room. So this is a very important part of our uh, uh, research workflow here. Um, so this is where the stem cells live essentially. Uh, so we have a couple of the team members here. Uh, so this is uh, Jen, who's one of our senior scientists, and uh, Jemima, who's doing her master's uh, in stem cell research. Um, and we house them in these incubators here. So this is where the stem cells live. Uh, yeah. So it's very important we keep them at uh, physiological conditions, 37 degrees. They need constant attention, feeding. Uh, so it's quite <laughs> onerous <children>. uh, work. <laughs> And just to finish, I'll take you through to the microscope room where we spend a lot of time uh, essentially analysing the end of projects. So after we take those stem cells and transplant them into the brain, it's very important to see if they survive, how they've connected, if they're making the right connections that could be therapeutic in Parkinson's disease. So I'll just finish, I guess, by showing you can you see that okay? Yeah. So Yeah, that's great. So that's a picture from a slide on the microscope and it's showing you dopamine neurons, human dopamine neurons that have been generated from stem cells, transplanted into the brain and survive and make the right connections in a way that can restore motor function, which is very exciting, I think. That is exciting indeed. So hopefully ah. that, uh, that gives you a bit of a feel for it. It does. It's huge. I don't actually um, realise how I'll, big these labs are until you see yeah, them. Yeah, it's. Um, I think one of the real um, advantages of this sort of environment uh, is that you do get to interact with a lot of your colleagues and working on, as I said, a really diverse range of problems. Um, and that's valuable because you can get insights from other scientists working in other diseases about what might work in your own sphere. Yeah. Lachlan, you're in a bit of a patch there where we've lost you, but uh, hopefully you'll be back in a second. There he is. Oh, we're back again. So hopefully um, that was only a minor glitch, but yeah, I hope that gives you a bit of a feel for it. Oh, no, that's, that's very valuable. Thank you so much. It's great to have seen the inside and seen people working on it and um, to see what the pictures look like. It's yes, uh, a something we don't get to do. Yeah. Thank you so much for your time, Lachlan. I really do appreciate it. Yep, any time. Happy to talk. Great. Well, thank you. And um, we'll be in touch. Good luck with your research. Thanks, Jodie.